Do you use HubSpot and DocuSign and want to integrate the two to work together? Luckily, there's a HubSpot app already built for you, and I'm going to show you how to connect it in this HubSpot hack. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. If you're not familiar with connecting apps in the HubSpot marketplace, you can do that here at the top. There's a little house icon where you can visit the marketplace and look for whatever app or integration you might be trying to set up. For this video, I already have the DocuSign app connected into my account, and they give you some tips on getting started. You'll see here that you can send documents inside of HubSpot from a template. So I'm going to show you how to set that up within DocuSign and that they can be sent on contact company or deal objects. And we can even actually do it through a workflow too, which I'm going to show you a little bit later on in this video. So we want to hop over to DocuSign and set up our first template. So if you've um, done this before, if you have a Word document or a PDF, they work great. And a really important step to make the HubSpot integration work within DocuSign is you want to make sure you click this drop down here to add recipients. You need to have at least one person required to sign on these documents for it to be able to work. Otherwise, it won't have a sender to send to if you're doing these through a workflow. So we're just going to assign a role. We're just going to call this the signer. And that should uh, make this integration work once I have it completely set up. So once we're happy with our document and the roles, when we click next, this will bring us to customizing this sample legal document. So they give you some standard fields here. You can look at your custom fields, which are going to be the ones that you're going to want to use for HubSpot. So I'm just going to pause real quick instead of digging through this entire list, but I'm going to be looking for name, company name, and our signature fields to drop here into this document. So I've got first name and last name added here already. To add company name, I'll just search it here in the standard fields and drag it and drop it over into my document and drop it in. And then I'll do the same thing for our signature field here and drop it in onto the signature line. You also might, I forgot to set, set it up in this test document. You also might want to add in a date signed, which will, which will populate that for you when the person actually signs the document. So this document's ready to go. I'm going to save and close it. And now I have my sample envelope, my sample template inside of DocuSign, which should be ready to go over in HubSpot. So I'm going to hop over to my HubSpot account, show you a di couple different ways that you can send these envelopes within HubSpot. So I'm in my, my own, um, my own contact here. If I scroll down on the right hand side, there should be a DocuSign um, association or object here where you can send DocuSigns. So the DocuSign integration is pretty unique in terms of if you install this, this integration is only installed for you. And if anyone else at your company also wants to connect DocuSign, they'll need to um, go to the app marketplace and install it on their specific account as well. Otherwise, they won't be able to see this here. So if I wanted to send them a template, it opens up a little iframe here. It shows the template that I want to send with my sample envelope and I can click next and it just confirms the recipients, the name, email address it's going to, and what we want that message to look like. And then I can actually fire that out to recipients, just add in an email message here because we didn't add that default um, in our template and then we can fire it out. Perfect. Envelope has been sent to this recipient. Another really useful way that you can set this up is to build a workflow to fire these out based on some sort of automation. Uh, one that I recommend might be a deal stage, right? As you're going through um, an opportunity funnel, once they hit that stage where you're in contract or legal review, you can move them into that stage and automatically fire out a, uh, a DocuSign um, envelope to them. So if we hop over to our workflows into our DocuSign integrations, We'll create a workflow here and we're going to set it up from scratch. So we will make this deal based. Um, we're going to make it a based on deal stages are going to be our trigger. So if you're unfamiliar with workflows, triggers are the enrollment criteria. Once they meet this um, trigger, they're going to be enrolled in the workflow and sent the DocuSign envelope. So we'll set up our, our trigger here. We're going to build it off of deal stage. And I don't think I have any sort of um, one for DocuSign, but we'll say once they hit that contract sent stage, that's actually gonna send out the contract for, for them to sign. And then we'll save our trigger here. So you can build in any other emails that you might wanna send ahead of time, um, but we're gonna just go right down to the bottom right here. And this 
goes to our DocuSign to send a DocuSign envelope. So whatever users that you have connected will be available here. So just a quick example, mine's the only one connected. Someone else at my company, Allie or Tyler or Alexis wanted to send out a DocuSign envelope through this workflow, triggered through the deal stage change. That envelope is going to come from me because I'm that template owner. Um, so just something to remember when you're setting up your DocuSign account, you might want to set it up as accounting or under your CEO's name, for example. So I just choose the, the user I wanted to send as and choose the sample envelope template and save it. Now I have my workflow ready to go. Whenever any deals meet that contract sent stage, it's going to fire out that DocuSign envelope for them to sign and super easy to set up. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. If you want any help setting up your DocuSign integration, feel free to reach out to me and, and check out the rest of our HubSpot Hacks YouTube videos and you'll definitely find something um, useful in there. So happy help spotting.